This presentation considers gender equity through equality and protection. The learning objectives for this presentation are to have an understanding of gender equity and to know how to promote gender equality. So what is gender equity? It is when women and men have equal opportunities to realise their individual potential, to contribute to their country's economic and social development, and to benefit equally from their participation in society. When women and men have relative equality, economies grow faster and children's health improves. Here are two short videos to watch. I'm just a girl. Every day I get up and clean the house, collect water and chop firewood. Often the work I do is hidden and I'm not paid for it. I had to give up school to work so I can help feed my family. Without schooling, there aren't many jobs I can do. I end up vulnerable, working away from home, a teenage mother with few prospects. I'm not the only one. Because I'm a girl, no one sees my potential. Invest in me. Give me a chance to learn. I need to understand money and develop skills so I can find decent and useful work. Invest in me. Break the cycle of poverty. I'll support my family, educate my children and become self-sufficient. Invest in me and the whole community will benefit. I'll be smarter, healthier and stronger. My work will add to the economy of my village, my country, our planet. Invest in me, it makes sense. Start when I'm very young and watch your investment grow as I do. Because you see my potential. Because I'm a girl, I love braiding my sister's hair dancing and playing with my friends, drawing diagrams and solving equations. Because I'm a girl, I have dreams. When I grow up, I want to be a doctor, a judge, or maybe a scientist. And I dream of having a family with my true love. But I know that none of these dreams will come true. Because I'm a girl, I'll be forced to drop out of school like so many other girls my age. Because I'm a girl, boys bully me. Men desire me. School is no longer a safe place for me to be. Because I'm a girl, I get up first and cook and clean last in my family. 
Because I'm a girl, I have to get married at 13. Have babies before my body is ready. And have more children than I can keep healthy. Girls like me, without an education, are the poorest on the planet. We have no control over our lives and no way out of poverty. I know that staying in school would mean a better life than my mother. Then I could lead the way for my sisters and friends. We could decide our future, when to marry and which job. And together we could show everybody how girls make the community stronger and richer. The people at PLAN see the potential in girls like me. They'll help me stay in a good, safe school, find new and better ways for my family to earn money, and give me skills for life so that I stay healthy and be all I can be. Give me a chance and I'll take it from here. Because I am a girl. <laughs> While gains have been made, gender inequalities are still striking. Two out of three people who lack basic literacy skills are female. Women hold very few seats in national parliaments. 500,000 women die each year from complications during pregnancy. 99% of these are in developing countries. Globally, one in three women and girls experience physical and sexual violence. Girls are forced to marry young and have children before their body is ready to do so. Gender equity is not a women's issue, but should concern and fully engage men as well as women. Equity between women and men is seen both as a human rights issue and as a precondition for, and indicator of, sustainable people-centred development. When we consider eye care, women suffer from over double the amount of blindness and visual impairment. Women and girls access eye care services less than men and boys. Cataract rates are higher in women than in men. Women account for 75% of trachoma blindness. In many settings, women are two to four times as likely to have trichiasis. And presbyopia rates appear to be higher in women compared with men. So what can we do? Strategies and targets need to engage women and girls and the effectiveness of these strategies needs to be monitored. Gender data is collected through our projects. This allows us to implement strategies to help redirect health promotion activities and awareness campaigns, selection and recruitment of human resources. Imagine you examine the monitoring and evaluation data for your clinic. You discover that 80% of the people you see are males. What are some reasons to explain this? Females may be working during the hours the clinic operates. Females may feel it is not their right to access the clinic. 
Perhaps they think glasses are only for those who are educated or males. Females are less likely to be educated and may not be aware of services or treatment available. Females may have no means of transport. And females may not be able to access the household income, so cannot afford glasses. And how can we change this? We could change our opening hours to make it more accessible. We could run targeted awareness programmes and education. For example, workshops or screenings with women's groups. We could improve outreach services or provide transportation. And we should educate men that everyone needs access to eye care. What's wrong with this picture? Well, there's no females, of course. So consider six steps to gender equity. One, know the facts. Two, recognize it's not a women's issue. Three, get leadership on board. Four, set targets on gender equity. Five, identify motivated individuals and invest. And six, demonstrate accountability. Remember, gender equity is not just a woman's issue. It helps economies grow, it improves children's health, and it is your responsibility. Take some time to check that you have met the learning objectives from this presentation. To have an understanding of gender equity and to know how to promote gender equality. Write down any questions that you have and be sure to have them answered.